Constitution, yeah, and, and you're I refusing it. That country, and I risk my life. So why aren't you, you defending that? it now? Have you done that? Sir? What, what leads Thank you? you what leads you? What question. leads you? I don't have to answer, answer questions. I don't answer why? questions because I don't, I don't have to. Questions. You work for me. I don't work okay. for you. Thank you. Come on, can I just buy a stamp so we can get out of here, man? Just, just one. Can't do it with camera on, sir. So you can't sell me a stamp while I'm on, recording sir. you. Okay. So still, just wanted to make sure I didn't get it confused. Can you do me a favor? Can you do you you can you actually? So. Whoever, I've got to go. Uh, yeah. So um, they're just concerned with us filming. We came in, we put money down, we just wanted to buy a stamp. What's going on, everybody? Accountability for all with No Name Audits and Police State Productions at the Randolph Post Office in Randolph, Vermont, conducting a First Amendment audit. Let's take a look. You're here to buy a stamp today. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, sir. There's no filming in the post office. Oh, there's not? There is not any filming in the post office. Oh, please shut the uh, have you guys off. seen Poster 7? No, because this is from your postmaster. Shut your cameras off. No, we're going to keep filming. It says from your postmaster, Poster 7 is entitled and listed by your postmaster. It says we can film for news and media purposes. Not without calling. Right. We don't have to call. That's for commercial purposes. But I'm just here to buy a stamp today. Hey, you're gonna waste taxpayers' money on calling the officials. Bro. You could go right ahead and do it. He's calling. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, can I have a stamp, please? I'd like to put those away until I do the stamp. Is it okay? Though? Well, you can ask, and we don't have to comply. Don't we have the right to uh, record our transactions with the government? Government employees. Let me take care of this stamp. He's calling to check. He has to call. So, that's fine. He can call. So, are we not allowed to purchase a stamp until then? Not at all. Okay. Purchase a stamp. All right. Can I have... I just don't want to be recorded. I have a right not to be recorded. Actually... You left that right at the door when you punched in this morning. Somebody can you educate him on that, please? Let me step up here. I can pay for this stamp. Because now, now we're attempting to buy a stamp, and we're not being allowed to because we're conducting a constitutionally protected activity. So, you know what that means? Rights violated. So still waiting to buy a stamp. And I'm being refused service because I'm conducting a constitutionally protected activity in Randolph, Vermont. Randolph, Vermont. <laughs> now someone else is here, so they're refusing service now. And so yeah, just a stamp. Can I help you please? Just a second. I said we're taking care of it. He has to make a phone call first. All right, so would you deny me service if I had no. a different color skin? No. Because I have a camera, this is my constitutionally protected activity. See this? We the people? I'm sorry. Have you served in the military, I, sir? Hey, listen. I've served in Vietnam. Well, okay? thank you for your service. No, please. We, you can't have them in the lobby. I was just told by my boss. Well, you can call the police. That's fine. All right. Okay. Go we'll call the police. Sounds They're good. right next door. Yep, we were just over there. Okay. I, I'm all for personal rights. You swore an oath to the Constitution when you, when you enlisted told, in the military. I also got hired by the United States Postal System, and I'm obligated to follow different things. You are? Guidelines. So photographs for news and media purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums, except for... Right. I'm glad that you know that. And I, I do. And, and I don't personally know that, but I know that I'm under obligation to call well, you're not here. higher ups when people come into film. You're not here to follow policy. You're yes, here to I am. You what were you in the I'm, armies? Army Marines? What were you? What, what are you? It's none of your business. Well, okay? I mean I'm having a hard time with you. I'm I'm retiring at the end of July and all of a sudden you guys are causing all this grief. I don't need it. That, I, I don't need, need it. it. Sir. We, I think that's I incredible that you swore an oath to the Constitution yeah, and you're and refusing it. that country and I risk my life. So why aren't you, you defending it now? Have you done that? Sir? What, what leads you? you what leads you? What question. leads you? I don't have to answer, answer questions. I don't answer why? questions because I, I don't, don't have to. You questions. work for me. I don't work right. for you. I'll give you a hint. We the people. Yeah. Can you recite? Can you recite the Constitution? We the people of the United States of America in order to form a more perfect union? I'm getting it. Thank you. Guys, be careful. If you come to uh, Randolph, uh, Vermont, you might get refused service based on your skin color because you're practicing civil rights. This hasn't happened what since the 50s. Color? What? Because you're white? 
Oh, I'm I'm white. There's other people of different nationalities and with me. I'm know. saying, if you, and, and, and my daughter dates a, a different nationality, a different. Skin you were going to say something else. No, I wasn't. Yes, not. you are. My daughter you dates a my different mind, nationality. Mind. And that's what you. Sir, you're being daughter. disorderly, got, sir. Sir, I got a question for you. Why don't I have no answers? I'm quiet now on. Well, I why think you're going to have a hard time. Why wouldn't you want to uh, follow your your direct your directives right there? Your rules and regulations. No answer to the Hispanic. There we go. We got contact. Sir, what's your name? Now he's the, the, I guess, the supervisor. So just to let everyone know what's happened now, we've been refused service because we're conducting a constitutionally protected activity. Hey, supervisor. So it does say on their wall that we can we can do this. This is approved by their postmaster. Yeah. Secondly, if the sign said we couldn't, we still could because it's a public place. But their postmaster upholds it. We do that. And sir, just so you know, we do this at, I've done it at the Secret Service, the FBI, screen, Homeland Security. Well, you sh are you the supervisor? You should not only be into it, you should be educating because I came here to buy a stamp and you're refusing me service because I'm conducting a constitutionally protected activity. The librarian at the Scottsboro... P sell you a stamp. Why don't you turn Excellent. I'm not going to do that. Would you sell me a stamp as long as I'm white? I mean, that's ridiculous, sir. There's a video I just posted on my channel three days ago. It's got almost 100,000 views with someone that refused me service because I was conducting a constitutionally protected activity. And that's what's going to happen here today. So because he said he contacted the police, we're going to wait for them. And I'm going to wait until I get my stamp. How much you guys want to bet I'm going to get a stamp today? And thank God we're recording this so they can't make anything up. All right. So, and here's the thing that they won't learn. I could have came in, bought a stamp, and been out of here, and we would be gone. Absolutely. So, guys, I can only buy a stamp if I do not practice my constitutional liberties. That's the only way I can, I can buy a stamp today, is if I sacrifice my liberty for security. It's the only way. Here's a little story, guys. In the uh, early to mid-1950s, there were some folks that were refused service, violating their civil rights. I thought we were well behind those times. I guess, uh, I guess they refused service here in Randolph. Thank you. Hey man, can I just buy a stamp so we can get out of here, man? Just, just one. Can't do it with the camera on, sir. So you can't sell me a stamp while I'm on, recording sir. you. Okay. So still, just wanted to make sure can I didn't get it confused. Can you do me a favor? Can you do you you can you actually bring that out on paper and show us that you can't do that while the cameras are on? I want to read that. Well, he doesn't have that because. His actual policy contradicts that directly. It's right on the wall. the Constitution that contradicts that. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. So yeah, I just want to make sure. Maybe I got confused. I can make mistakes like anyone else. I'm human. But, you know, he definitely just admitted that he will not provide me service while I'm conducting a constitutionally protected activity. Civil rights violated. Oh, my. This guy is going to be famous. Famous. Where's the postmaster? Can we speak to him? This guy's not going to do anything for us because, because we're not following directives from someone that's not qualified to give directives. I wish the police actually did come because they usually just make you guys get the stamp for us. Oh, we got an officer here finally. Thankfully, he came. This is great. We're actually waiting for a police officer. File finally she came, excuse me. Hi officer. Thank you for coming. Um so whoever. I've got to go to Uh yeah. So um they're just concerned with us filming. We came in, we put money down, we just wanted to buy a stamp and they were letting us know we couldn't film in there. We kind of letting them know that first of all not only does the constitution allow us to film, but the poster 7 that's posted on their wall that upholds uh, that's upheld from the postmaster states that for news media purposes we can film in these lobbies unless it's for commercial purposes like a movie and then we need to make an appointment. So we literally just want to buy a stamp and then we're out of here and he's refusing us service cuz we're conducting okay. Okay. 
Well, Can I Deputy be... Pine with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Thank you so much. And if the dog barks, it's just because I'm out of the car and he's not. So. Okay. Thank you, Deputy. So we'll let you deal with it, and we're not trying to get a reaction. We just want to buy a stamp and film the process. Okay. And everything's on film, too, if you need to review it. Well, hello, good son. Hello. We'll stand in the corner over here. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, guys, in Vermont, they don't have PDs. They have sheriff's departments. Uh, in some states, they have... Uh, they have sh police departments, too. Oh, are there? Oh, yes. So, does the... So is there a, a town PD here as well? There is not a town PD. There so, used to be a town PD. So state troopers assist you guys. Probably. Okay. But they have municipal, like Northfield has a municipality. Really? So it depends on the town. I didn't realize out here that they, because like, you know, further into New England, you really just get the sheriff's departments are just handling detention and police officers are handling towns and state troopers will assist. Yep. And we're, not, we're, we're pretty nice. We're not. Everything's on film. We're literally just trying to document the, the process. I think you have an idea of what we do. Um, and literally, like, I've never had, like, been straight up refused service for conducting a constitutionally protected activity. And secondly, like, it's not just the Constitution, but, I mean, it's right there. This is newly updated that it, it gives us the right to, to do here, specifically from the postmaster. So, I mean, we would have been in and out. We don't want to be here. I literally just tried to get a stamp. Are you guys over at the town... Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. They were, they, you know, they weren't really aware, but once we let them know, they were fine with it. I, I was on another call, so I was ignoring. Oh, they called over there? No, no, I oh, was on another call, so I was ignoring the, the radio, and then I realized, oh, oh right. they're trying to talk to me. I should probably respond. So. You guys need some backup. <laughs> how many How many residents I have do you have? I have a dog. Uh, no, you do have the dog. And there's actually... Uh, a bunch of other officers that patrol the area too. Okay. So. Do you have, do you have a German Royalton. Shepherd? Actually, it's a Belgian Malinois. Oh really? Yeah. Cute. Like, listen, you never. I was walking and the cop was on the cover, so he's walking the dog, and I didn't realize it was a police dog or it was a cop, and I just seen the dog. It was so cute, and it was like almost like a beagle. And I went to go pet the thing. I almost lost a finger. <laughs> they can be. They they have a little bit of attitude to them. Yeah, for sure. So guys, we're in. A, this is the Orange County Sheriff, which just serves this area. Cover other town stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we. This is our first trip out to. Um, You're, I'm sorry. No. My, you, you I usually don't, don't answer questions. I'm, I'm accountability for all. That's the name okay. of my YouTube channel. No name on it. Nice to meet you. Very nice, guys. This is an excellent welcome. So this isn't the whole town. This is the Orange County Sheriff's Department under Sheriff Bill Bonyak, and um. So this officer has been really, really nice. And just like the town hall, sometimes people aren't aware. So why do we do this? So we can bring awareness to what we do. We could elicit reactions and trying to get them to flip out. But we can't, we can't give you that information. No, no, I mean, I mean just in, like in town, like for food and stuff. Because I can give you some great oh, recommendations. I would love a recommendation. So um, actually, Whiskey Echo, I think, opens at That sounds good, Whiskey Echo. Yeah. But they're 4 o'clock, whatever yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah. But they have really good burgers. I've heard. I haven't What's actually been there. What's the population in this town? Uh, 2,200, 2,400. 2,200? Wow, Holy it's, smokes. It's, it's, a village, it's village. the village of Randolph, and then it's the town of Randolph, and then you have Randolph Center, East Randolph. So, so I do you know. guys cover all that? Well, Orange County covers all of Orange County. We have uh, specific contracts with different towns. That's how the sheriff's departments work. They're contracted out Understood. for hours to different towns. Right. So you just happen to... Randolph Village is one of the ones that we have a basically a full-time contract with. So Awesome. Because they used to have their own p police department here. So And then did, what did they close it cuz of budget cuts and stuff? Oh, uh, they just it was a budget change, I think. Yeah. I, I actually honestly That's don't been know. happening quite a bit, I especially in 2019. Here, so here I am. So <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's fine cuz now that this this gentleman is he's just unaware, so he's he can, now he knows for the future. Like, you know, you guys carry body cameras and sometimes we're just trying to show people that the camera right there and there and there is really no different than the camera that we have right here. Because when you sacrifice liberty for security, you deserve neither. And I appreciate it. You swore an oath to the Constitution and, and you are upholding it. So we appreciate that. They're actually back there printing up the stamp right now, guys. That's why it's taking so long. <laughs> Is that what you're just buying a stamp? Just to buy it. Literally just to buy a stamp. We've been here 20 minutes. The first question we asked was, can we buy a stamp? And then they, they kind of had a meltdown. Okay. 
I honestly okay. don't know what the federal. Okay. Yeah, so it just states that um, for news and media purposes, we can film in the foyers, public lobbies. The only exemption is for other purposes, which is commercial use. So oh, we I would have we making a movie. A movie. We would have to make an appointment because then we would technically have to like privately contract or they would have to notify citizens and stuff like that. If it's just for news purposes or anyone wants to come in here and exercise their First Amendment right, then they are limited to the public lobbies, lobbies and foyers. We obviously can't go back there. Um, but yeah, I mean, and the sign, like if it said we couldn't, then it would really, any law that is unconstitutional in itself yeah. is unlawful, but even more so, and that's why we do post offices, is because we want to figure out if their postmasters are relaying the message to their employees. And normally, they're not. Were you guys up in Montpelier not too long ago? No, a group that we associate okay. with, uh, with was, was recently here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And where did you say? Where was it? Montpelier. Montpelier. That was oh. AA. Oh, AA okay. was up there. How are you today, sir? Yeah, man. Just a stamp. Yeah, I'm not very good. <laughs> I feel Monday. as if they're trying to Monday. entrap me to say that I'm racist. Oh. And, and no, I'm just saying you're violating no, my no, civil no. rights by not I'm, allowing me to I get a stamp. You I could sell you a stamp earlier. The only thing I said I would have to stop was recording. Re stop recording because it's my regulations that I know of says that when you're in the lobby here, you're not allowed to record because of you've got people that have credit cards sometimes out. Oh, you have people that do not. Well, if you want, want to be privacy, innocent. you have to create it. It's not my duty to create your All privacy. All I'm saying is that was what I was instructed and to call further up for any filming done in the post office. You're entitled to film out in the lobby or any public place, but once you get into here where there's credit cards being out, where there's transactions that are being done. That's we, misinformation. Are, I know. It's well, that's, not allowed. that's why we're here to do this. And the reason I brought up the issue of race is because this is a civil liberty. To deny me service because I'm practicing yeah, civil then, liberty, then one duck doesn't recognize the other. That, no, I'm just saying, he tried to... Oh, it's, it's all right. We'll just get the stamp. And the thank, uh, thankfully, uh, the Orange County Sheriff was here to help you guys learn a valuable to, lesson. To go after my patriotism. Well, you swore an oath to the Constitution. Absolutely, and I defended well, it in Vietnam. Well, Vietnam was a couple, you know, 30, 35 years ago. Yeah, we're we're, we're here right now. You still you still swore off the Constitution. We can still defend it today. Let's do our yes, part I together. Would. Well, thank you for doing it now. It's about 20 minutes too late. I think what do you mean it's 20 minutes too late? Not trying to do abrasive love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah, actually, this is, this officer, this sheriff's deputy is being phenomenal. And you guys should be very... She is a good officer. She is. You guys are awesome to have her. And I think we have an excellent post office here. We create everybody we take care of. It's just the fact that when you come in to do the filming, creates a hostile environment. You know what? That's the beautiful like thing about freedom of speech. We don't have to agree, but we're both free to say our opinion. Would you like your receipt? Uh, yes, please. Just hit that button right there. And I'm normally, uh, at this point, I'm normally more confrontational, but this officer did a phenomenal job, so we respect her and we thank her for her service. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All. Are you guys all set? Yep. We thank are you, all deputy. set. Thank you for your service. You are one of the good ones. Thank you, Deputy. Shout out to the Orange County Sheriff's Department for doing an awesome job. Awesome job, Orange County Sheriff's Department. They said we weren't getting a stamp. We got a stamp. And, uh... Bye, Felicia. You know what I mean? Police State Productions, no-name audits, and that's the reason we are stopping you today. Hashtag, we the people.